Today is Monday, December 29th, and I wanted to document real quick where we stood before going into 2015, the property lines and whatnot go. This is the west line right here, and this would be the north line. And I'm gonna go ahead and document the west line. This is the northwest corner post. As you can see, the electric fence has been installed and the line down the whole west side is becoming more and more defined and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start taking out felling these trees first 12 to 15 feet of the west line so basically this tree here with the pink marker on it is going to stand and it's actually a longleaf pine and it's a very desirable species. You can see it up there. It's very straight and it's a good timber species and it puts off really nice long needles every year. You can see right here and when they shed you can rake them up and use them as mulch, cover your flower beds or you can look good for, uh, they're really good for smoker fuel for the beehives. But, <clears throat> and there's another one. So these are the species we want to start populating the backside of this property with, which is timber property. It's not a strict permaculture zone five because you wouldn't do anything to it, but we're gonna go ahead and thin it. And I have seedlings at home, we're gonna go ahead and plant in here. So the first 12 feet, the 15 feet is gonna be cleared. And then we're gonna plant more longleaf pine varieties down the edge here and down the edge here so we're clearing again these trees are falling within the first 12 to 15 feet and the fence is now up and running and we're going into 2015 so we will need to get this west line fire break done we need to get this west line fire break done. You can see right here is a nice sand pine. But it's pretty crooked and it's falling in the area where we really don't need to have it. So that will be taken out. And you can see the path footpath right now has become really well defined and clear and now it needs to be widened this is the big sand pine we took out and the butt logs have been milled and I need to get to the other nice piece here but it's pretty knotty and it's not a high priority because they have nicer logs to be milled on the south line timber here these sand pines are going to come out and we're going to have a nice wide lane for fire break and i'm going to plant in different annual type crops and the goats can come through and graze that main priority is a fire break and a lane that can support vehicle traffic and then lastly, plant in some crops for grazing our livestock. This is the charger for the main fence. It's doing a great job. And you can see more of this needs to come out. Again, this is how the west line stands, December 29th. 2014 wanted to get it all tidied up and documented before 2015 strand electric fence is up and running work it works real well you can see this is a section where the goats have already foraged through and this section here as well the goats have foraged it and I've come through and hand thinned it by hand with a pruning saw and bow saw. And a lot of this timber needs to be selectively thinned. But 
not a high priority down in this section as of right now. It can stand. A lot of the hand thin stuff, you know, the roots are still in the ground. New shoots will come back up and the goats can come back through and forage it again in three to four months. And the goats love the new forbs and shoots when they come up. It's good nutrition. And you're wearing the plants out as the goats graze it, so it's sort of a natural brush reduction. But down in this section is uh, more oak dominated. And then as you get to the east side of the property, it gets very thick. So we want to thin the less desirable and crooked sand pines and promote more of the higher canopy oak trees that'll help break the sun off the soil and keep the ground temperature cool in here and here's the goats as you can already hear from way up the line but here they are and they are in a electro net fencing configuration and this is about a half acre under net fence and we run this inside of course the perimeter fence and this controls our grazing efforts and we've got uh, six does all meat goats kiko boar mix and three kids right now and they're working in this section right now and they'll thin it and when this is when the rest of this section back there is looking like this we will pick up the net fencing and relocate it again another half acre so the goats just kind of eat their way across the property and right now this amount of goats six adult does three kids and of the six adult does, we have two that are presently lactating. Although the kids are getting towards the end of that, they're getting into 10 weeks or whatever, so they're not uh, on as much milk. But the main point I'm trying to make is the amount of times we have to move this fence with this amount of livestock load in here right now is once every seven to ten days although I do think this is a bit thicker in here and this is probably the thickest setup we've put them in so far we may be able to get uh, 10 to 14 days before having to relocate the net fencing they do a good job they really open it up so you can get in there and start thinning and that's the main priority This is the south line here that comes in, and this is the west line. So we're getting to the end of the west line here, and everything's looking good. So that's it. West line as it stands, December 29th, 2014. Looking forward to a great 2015.